Panther families, I'm Tony Thurman, proud superintendent of the Cabot School District. We hope you were able to enjoy spring break with your family despite this unprecedented and challenging time. Our school leaders have been working hard to make the best decisions for our families. We understand many of you are struggling to adjust. We all are. We know you have many questions regarding this ever-changing situation, especially with the continuance of AMI assignments. Now, first and foremost, we're here to support and not overwhelm anyone. The district has developed a plan for continuing your child's education during this school closure. We've been asked to reinvent teaching and learning in a few short weeks. So the word of the day and for the duration of the closure is to be patience. Though not perfect, it is our intent to work in partnership with our parents to be successful. Our goal is to keep it simple and for students to be engaged and learning. The last thing we want to do is cause stress for your families. I want to share AMI information from a big picture perspective. Now, do not get anxious because you'll soon be receiving more specific information from your principals, teachers, and the district. Here's our plan going forward. AMI assignments are being formulated and made available today. Information is posted on our website, cabotschools.org, and teachers are ready to help students if they have any questions. We will also be posting a video on our website by Aaron Randolph, our Chief Academic Officer, with additional information. And we also understand many of our students do not have access to internet-ready devices, like a laptop, a tablet, iPad, or iPhone. Don't worry. Our technology department is working on plans to get a device to every student that needs one. In fact, a drive through Chromebook Distribution Center is being set up for later this week at Cabot Junior High North. The district will also open Wi-Fi hotspots in the parking lots of several of our campuses. That way, students who do not have internet access at home can get connected to complete assignments. More specific information on device checkout and Wi-Fi access will be forthcoming. Now we also understand when school is out, it can create hardships. Many students rely on our food service. That's why we're dedicated to providing meals to our students during this closure. The Cabot Kids Cafe will be available Monday through Friday from 11 to 12 at five different school locations. A to-go lunch as well as breakfast for the next day will be provided and details can be found on our district website. Now the USDA recently changed guidelines allowing for meals to be provided even if the student is not present. Again, check our website for more information. Now prom. Prom was originally scheduled for April 25th and is now postponed. We hope to provide an opportunity for some type of event, but those decisions will be based on social distancing and group size guidance as we move toward the end of the year. Space Camp. Space Camp has ceased operations through at least May 22nd. We're currently working with the organization on how to best provide refunds. Please understand that this will take some time to process. You will be receiving more information as it becomes available from the middle schools. According to the Arkansas Department of Education, high school seniors who are on track to graduate and in good standing as of the third nine weeks reporting period will be considered as meeting the graduation requirements for the state of Arkansas. The staff at Cabot High School, the Academic Center of Excellence, and the Academic Center of Excellence North will be communicating with seniors in the coming days who are not, not on track to graduate to formulate a plan for the remainder of the year. Now, any senior who is in good standing but is concerned about their grades for the third nine weeks should make immediate contact with either Mr. Hawkins at the high school, Ms. Evans at ACE, or Ms. Chastain at ACE North to develop a plan. Finally, a lot of questions about graduation scheduled for May 15th. It's our hope at this time that we can make the traditional ceremony a reality, though final decisions will be made as the date approaches. We're not going to officially cancel the traditional ceremony until we absolutely know that it is not going to be an option. Now, it's important to understand that if we are unable to host our traditional graduation, we do plan to host some type of celebration for the class of 2020 when possible. In closing, I want to share a few thoughts from a recent article titled, My Children Are Now Watching Me, All Day, Every Day. My takeaways from the article are the reminder that young minds are like sponges, absorbing how we handle uncertainty, crisis, and a loss of control. In front of their very eyes, our kids are watching as we reinvent ourselves. But this is where we need to remember that while we are watching this deluge, our young people, whether in kindergarten or college, are calculating our reactions and responses. In this moment, adults hold the key. Calm may not take away the sting of situations, but it can dial down the response. If there was ever a reason to find the best version of ourselves in these trying moments, just look into your child's eyes. Now, you're probably asking yourself why I shared those thoughts when this is about AMI work and end-of-year events. Here's why. 
I fully realize that no matter the AMI plan developed or the decisions that we make, there will always be that person who believes that it's been done wrong. Keep in mind that our kids are watching closely for how we react to these situations. This whole new way of learning will be a challenge for everyone. If we as adults are calm and optimistic, we have a much better opportunity to get all that we can out of your kids and our students. Rather than spend time focusing on what is wrong, we encourage you to focus on what is right. The bottom line is that we are providing the foundation. And if you want to take it higher based on the specific needs of your child, we encourage you to supplement the learning as you see fit. If you would like to discuss other academic options with your child's teachers, that's fine too. Our staff will work with you to make this the best it can be for your child. Now in closing, it's going to be expected that you're probably going to have questions or concerns. So you have two options. You can choose to post that question or concern on social media and receive a myriad of responses that may or may not even be remotely accurate. Or you can choose, and I do highly recommend simply messaging your child's teachers, the building principal, or myself, and be provided with the exact information or feedback you need to make this work. Thank you for being patient. We know this is a lot of information to process and the script of this video can be found on our district webpage. And finally, the words of John Wooden, things turn out best for those who make the best of the way things turn out. Go Panthers!